Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your Kali Linux remote desktop using Windows 11. So the first thing you need to do is to install the XRDP program on Kali. So these are the steps basically. You need to install uh, this uh, program called XRDP. Before you do that, make sure you update the APT. You do sudo apt update. So the first step is sudo apt update and hit enter. I've already done that. Then the second step is to sudo apt install srdp y. Dash y means yes. So once you have done that, the next step is to start it when the system reboots. To do that, you do system and system control enable dash dash now xrdp so this will enable xrdp to start whenever the Kali reboots and then next thing is you reboot the uh, Kali itself so go ahead and just reboot it in the usual way and uh, once you have finished uh, rebooting it you will then uh, go and check the IF config you do the if config command to check the IP, I, I, in, uh, the IP address you need to get the IP address of Kali so you need to connect to the same Wi-Fi as your Windows 11 machine so if your Windows 11 machine is using this Wi-Fi access point this SSID you should also connect to the same one this is to enable both your Kali machine and also your Windows 11 to be on the same network so once they are on the same network, you can access it through its IP address. The remote desktop can be accessed through the IP address using the RDP protocol. So now you've got this, uh, this address, I'm going to show you how to connect with it. I'm just going to close the session first. So to connect to it, you need to connect to the computer with the IP address that you copied just now. To open this uh, remote desktop connection, just go to your windows here and search for um, you need to run the program ms microsoft uh, mstsc mstsc or mstsc or you can click right, right click here right click here and run run mstsc so once you run click ok you open this uh, window dialog and you enter the ip address of the kali machine then for username you click you enter kali k-a-l-i is kali and then you click connect just click yes and so it's connected and make sure your kali is uh, logged out you cannot have two remote desktop oh, you cannot have two uh, desktop open at the same time for Kali the X server will, uh, will, will, will conflict and it will detect that you, you are opening a second desktop so that's not a lot so you can only have one desktop open so in that case you have to close the other one if you have not done so then only this one will be able to log in so now your username is uh, Kali password is also Kali and you click OK and you are locked in that's it so this is how you can re access your Kali remote desktop from your Windows PC so over here you can see I can minimize it I can restore it to uh, and you can drag this along and you can see this is a remote desktop connection to your Kali machine over the uh, local area network now the beauty of this is you can copy and paste stuff between the remote desktop and uh, for example you can type history and you can just uh, copy and paste you can copy for example this one right click copy selection and then come to windows and you can open uh, notepad and you can paste it here that's the beauty of it it allows you to copy and paste between machines just like as though they are the same same uh, machine itself so 
this is how you can uh, create the remote desktop uh, access to a Kali machine now note that I'm running my Kali inside a Raspberry Pi 400 so it also works Kali also can also work yeah, in this way that's all for this video thank you for watching